This is how to demonstrate a W4S by six sensor intelligence, specifically the WTV4S, which is the background suppression variant of the W4S family. So what I like to talk about with customers with this product is that this is really our short range problem solver. It is an LED based sensor that has excellent challenging application solving powers. Um, so it's gonna be very good at some of your most difficult um, applications. It's not gonna be as good as something like the W10, which is laser-based. This W10 can, can solve things like very thin, shiny objects with shiny backgrounds. The W4 is gonna struggle with something as challenging as this, but for it being an LED-based sensor, it does exceptionally well. In addition, it's also a very small sensor too, as so you compare this with the W10. Uh, both of these sensors are one inch mounting. So they mount the same, but W4 is very small and it allows just a little bit more application or um, installation flexibility as it's so small. You can compare it to the W or the H18. In addition, you also have other mounting options here at the base. So that just gives you additional flexibility. The other thing about the, the W4S is it has specialist variants available for niche applications, things like double line sensors, and then also hygienic sensors too. So when it comes to uh, demonstrating this, we like to take our little placard here, the, both the white and the black side. And what I wanna do is I wanna demonstrate first the dual potentiometer. So we're probably used to a, a spindle where you can spin the knob, uh, the knob to uh, clockwise, and that's gonna extend the range. So as you do that with the W4, one of the nice features is you'll start to see the blue lights light up around the sensor. What that's doing is, is showing where you are relative to the max range of a sensor. So I spun it all the way, you see all the blue lights or almost all the blue lights are now lit up. I guess I can take a little bit further here. And now we're at max range. So that's one way to teach the sensor is the potentiometer. The other way is to push it just like a teach button. So you're gonna push and you're gonna hold for about three seconds until it starts flashing. Now the sensor is retaught to the face of this base. And you'll see here that only two lights are lit up showing you that you're about 25% of max range. So you've got reliable detection just like that. All right, what we wanna do is we want to teach it to ignore the background, but to see this thin sheet of paper. So what I'm gonna do is I taught it to the background. Now I'm gonna just dial it back just a hair until I'm no longer seeing the background. Then you're going to start with, we'll start with the easier side, which is white. So uh, to differentiate between a white object and a semi-reflective um, object behind it, it's pretty challenging, especially when it's thin. W4S has no problems doing this, as you can see. And it becomes even more challenging when you do a black object because it reflects even less light than white. And we'll see here, no bouncing around, very stable detection. If you were to do something like with the, uh, compared to like the W10 right here, you'll see that, hey, it can kind of see it, but it's not gonna be as reliable as the W10. That's because W10, again, is laser-based. So when it comes to an LED uh, sensor though, W4 is going to be our short range problem solver, has um, really small housing size, and then the dual potentiometer, able to see a whole lot of objects. Um, so that's the W4S.